because we're not using that as an excuse at all. We, we've got to come out and, and, and get things done, and we just couldn't quite get it done tonight. It, it's, it's kind of the way the game goes, and thankfully you've had a, a lot this season that went the other way for us. Coach, uh, let me ask you, at, at the beginning of the second half, it looked like you guys were <coughs> trying to be more aggressive on defense with, with trapping and, and the like. Uh, was that something that uh, – did you guys normally do, or was it uh, a situation? I mean, the way the score was at the, at the half, did that uh, was that just something that you wanted to do to try to set the tempo to go your way uh, in the uh, early part of the third period? Well, I, I think one thing with this team in general is is you would think fatigue and, and, and that would become a factor as the game goes on, but you know, really this team has found a way to get stronger as the game goes on, and, and I feel like we, you know, this group just continued to kind of warm up to the game and. I think generally we like to, to, to continue to try to pick that up a little bit more. And, um, but, but really, I, I, I think it you know, had more to do with just the flow of the game. And sometimes things went our way, and sometimes things went the other. And again, you had, you had a top five matchup here, and this is kind of what you expect in a game like that. So. Uh, for any of the players, I just kind of get your reflections on, you know, your careers, kind of the, the ride this season, those sorts of things? Um, I think as a collective senior class, we can say that we're just super grateful for the opportunity to play for George Fox and for this coaching staff. And I think we're super proud of um, each other, but also of our entire team and that we have a lot of um, young new kids that stepped up and played really, really well this season. And I'm excited to see where they're going to go. And so as a collective group, I mean, obviously the game didn't go the way we wanted it to, but we can be more proud to be a George Fox group. Um, I'd have to agree with everything Sam said. Uh, <laughs> um, in the locker room after the game, kind of told the whole team, like, thank you for everything you've done for us. Um, I'm absolutely proud to say that I've been a George Fox Bruin. And I think as a senior class, we will collectively agree with that, um, especially at the beginning of the year. I don't think any of us would have realized that we would be at this point in the season or we would have made it this far. So I'm insanely proud of the growth that this team has shown um, and all the adversity we've faced as well. Like we have, we've really kind of come together as a team and um, came out on the other side. Coach, we're coming down toward the uh, – Regulation when you were down and you needed, uh, you needed, you got that free from the cold blizzard. Um, have you faced similar situations where you guys had your backs to the wall, and you know certainly in the overtime period too? But was that something new that you guys, uh, you know, because of your record and probably because uh, of the, uh, the game time you had won by comfortable margins, was that a, an experience that maybe was a little, a little bit different for you guys? I mean, did you? feel prepared to handle a situation like this? Well, I, I, I think um, as, as a coach, you know, you, there's things that I'm going to reflect on and say, I've got to continue to get better at certain things down, you know, whether it's in the middle of the game or down the stretch. And so, uh, you know, we try to really take every opportunity to learn from. And uh, But but again, I, I think like Nicole said, I mean, what what makes this group so different than, than any group that I've ever had a chance to coach is that if you would have saw us two weeks in the season, you would have said, this is going to be a really long year for us. Like, and, uh, and, and how much this team has come together and really has grown as a team is like unbelievable. Like I, I never would have expected a season like this um, coming into the year with so many new faces, but also kids that were on our team last year that co played completely different roles. And uh, if you look actually at our, at our season as a whole, we actually had a ton of close games like this. Like we won so many games down the stretch, we're down 15 at halftime, we're down 26 at halftime one game where we came back and won. And, um, and, and it's, it's, it's so many league games, our league is so good that, that you know when we went on the road, we really didn't have a game on the road that wasn't a really competitive game and, and one way or the other down in the fourth quarter. So for us, this, you know, Kim hit a big three, Nicole hit several. I mean, it, it's kind of the mark of what this team has been all year. It's just. It's been amazing that the margin of error and how they've been able to just overcome that all season. I've never seen anything like it. Any final questions? Sandy, I just wanted to ask you, you seem like 
to be uh, the emotional leader of the squad, uh, being the point guard. Can you tell me a little bit about that? What it was like uh, in, an, in a game like this tonight? Um, I think that we all have like very unique leadership styles. Like as seniors, but also like uh, we have a lot of other upperclassmen and even underclassmen that show a lot of leadership. So I don't know, maybe I'm the more expressive one, but they all have um, their different ways. I think that this game, we all knew it was going to be a tough one. We all knew that Texas Tyler is a really excellent team and um, it was going to be hard going on the road, but that we were going to fight for each other. And I don't know, I think it's hard to fully prepare for like close games, no matter how much you want to. I mean, we put ourselves in some close game situations, but it's, I mean, it's an absolute grind. And so I think we can all, I don't know how to explain, like maybe my emotional feeling of it, but I think from a teammate perspective, like I'm just proud of my teammates and um, the way that they fight. And that I think is what I'll remember so much more than how I feel right now. But it's just how I feel about my teammates and the way that I know that they're going to sell out for me and I would sell out for them. And in that respect, that's what I'll remember for the rest of my life. I, I just, I just like to add that um, this senior class has been phenomenal, and and our coaching staff loves them so much. The players love them so much, and I can't, we can't thank them enough for everything that they accomplished while they're here. And how proud we are that they chose George Fox and came here to play for these last four years. Um, it's just been a, a special group and a special, special ride, and um, we're we're all just thankful we were able to share it with them, and and um, and we just appreciate everything that they've done. Thanks, guys.